Developments in the search for justice and the killing of a veteran who was delivering pizza. It's been more than a month since his murder and still no arrests. The victim's family is now issuing an emotional plea for information to find their loved one's killer. Channel 2's Brandon Walker was inside that news conference where the family just spoke. Brandon. Yeah, Andy, good morning to you. Oftentimes, when covering a homicide, the easiest question to ask is the hardest one to answer, and that is why. Investigators in this case are not sure who killed Paul Hillick and why they killed him. They're not ruling out road rage, but they also don't believe he was robbed because all of his money was on him. And so that's why they came here today along with Paul's family. They're handing out these flyers, too, asking anyone who may have seen anything, who may have heard anything, to say something. This is the last picture of Paul Hillick Jr. His family took of him from his birthday last November. The grin, they say, typical Paul. He would give you the shirt off his back. He would just do anything. He liked to, to tease a lot. Today, they're talking about Paul. They wish they didn't have to be here. They're asking for anyone who may know anything about Paul's death to come forward. It's been awful. You become numb to hearing murders all the time on the news. And... You don't think it's going to happen to you, and when it does, you don't know what to do. Paul Hillick Jr., 55 years old, was shot to death, Houston police say, on Court Road on the southwest side. He was a delivery man for Domino's Pizza. He had made two deliveries around 11 o'clock on March 17th. For whatever reason, police say, someone shot him. He had all, all money and, and personal effects on him. There are very few leads about why Paul was killed, what may have led to all of this, who killed him for that matter. And that's why officials are coming forward today, also Paul's family, asking for anyone who may know something to help. This isn't what we want. It's awful. It's awful. And certainly. Paul's mother was also there. Paul, in fact, lived with his mother, helped take care of her. She, though, was too distraught to speak. Again, investigators have very few leads on this, including witness testimony from Court Road the night when it happened. So that's why they're asking anyone to come forward. There is a $5,000 reward for any, for any information that may lead to an arrest. Also, Domino's apparently matching that, announcing that this morning during the Crime Stoppers meeting, another $5,000. That number for Crime Stoppers is 713 222 tips. We're live this morning. I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News. We hope they find out something, Brandon. Thank you.